All right? Okay. <laughs> the number one major key is you have to own your power. There is only one you. Do you feel? There is only one you. You are special. One out of 200 million sperm, you are special. Shout out to my biology teachers, okay? But you guys are special. You are here for a reason. This isn't an accident. So I need you to look yourself in the mirror every day and say, who am I? What makes me unique? What do I love doing every day? And I need you to own it. You see, when those kids bullied me when I was young, they told me I was a nerd, right? And I thought that being a nerd was bad. I thought being smart wasn't cool. Until I used my nerdness to go ahead and make almost $20,000 selling sneakers in high school. Until I became a nerd about photography and got featured in Teen Vogue and Complex Magazine. Until I became a nerd about business and got a chance to travel the country, meet some of the top CEOs, and get some of the most competitive jobs. You see, I'm bringing a nerd back in style because I'm owning my power. gonna be to take chances, make mistakes. Magic school bus, guys, right? <laughs> Owning your power is not gonna be easy. There's gonna be hurdles you gotta jump over. And because up until this point, school has taught you to dress like everyone else, think like everyone else, have the same answers as everyone else, they've taught you that failure is bad. And as a result, people are scared to live their dreams. You see, most people know deep down what their purpose is. You see, most people don't fail in life because they aim too high and miss. They fail because they aim too low and hit. I need you guys to think big. You see, most people choose their, their path out of fear disguised as practicality. What they really want seems impossible to expect, so they never dare to ask the world for it. But I'm telling you, closed mouths don't get fed. If you don't ask, you will not receive. Jim Carrey, world famous comedian, guys. He said his father could have been a famous comedian too. But instead, he chose the safe route and became an accountant. And then one day the economy got bad and he got laid off. And as a result, their family had to do whatever they could to survive. You see, Jim said he learned a lot of lessons from his father, not the least of which was that you can fail doing what you don't want, so you might as well take a chance doing what you love. You guys can think bigger, right? I need you guys to let your light shine, right? And the number three major key to success is going to be don't do it for the gram, do it for the love. I know some of you guys are on your phones right now, but you can't do it for the gram, you got to do it for the love. You see, we spend so much time consuming social media, looking at these fake Photoshop versions of people's lives, reading other people's opinions. I mean, it's to the point where we don't even know who we are anymore. And I'm telling you guys, if you want to own your power, you have to stop comparing yourself to others. Stop trying to become who Instagram told you to be. You gotta remember, you gotta remember that no matter what you see online, nobody is perfect. So take pride in your journey, okay? And the number four major key for success is give and you shall receive, all right? I know, I know. I know this might sound crazy, guys, but as soon as I stopped focusing on how I could get on, and I started focusing on how I could empower others, my life did a 360. You see, as you guys step out of this shelter of high school, you start to realize that the world isn't all sunshine and rainbows. It'll beat you down to your knees and keep you there if you let it. Most people aren't even comfortable in their own skin, but I'm telling you, I want you guys to be different. I want you guys to be a light in this world of darkness. I want you guys to own your power because when people see you living your passions, owning your power and giving back, they will flock to you. Trust me, if you study success in any book that you read, you'll realize that selflessness is an essential quality of leadership, okay? I'm not telling you guys to be naive though, right? But I'm just telling you, if you want anything out of life, give and it will come back to you. If you want love, if you want respect, if you want power, I need you to give love, respect others, empower your peers, and watch it come back tenfold. Because at the end of the day, all the money and the cars will eventually get old, rot, and fall apart. But the condition of your heart, that will stay with you forever. Right? 
We got one more major key and then we're out of here, all right? Are you guys still with me? All right, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. The major key number five is surround yourself with success. Oh, yes. Look to the person next to you and say, I know you are right. <laughs> all right. I don't know if you guys realize it yet, but your mind is powerful. It is a machine. It is a supercomputer unlike any other. State of the art. But if you want to be great, you got to feed that machine with greatness. You see, I graduated with a degree in information system. So I'm going to tell you something about technology. In technology, we have a term called GIGO, okay? Garbage in, garbage out. Right? But guess what? The reverse is also true. Good in, good out. That means that the quality of your outputs is determined by the quality of your inputs. Just like with your body, just like with your body, if you constantly feed yourself junk food, you're gonna wake up one day and you might not like the way that you look. But if you're eating them veggies, <laughs> if you're exercising, I'm telling you, you cannot help but succeed. Your mind is the same way. So how do you achieve mental fitness? Three things. The things you consume on a daily basis, your environment, and your thoughts. If you spend all day reading up on gossip, the media, watching Netflix, worrying about what so-and-so wore to the royal wedding, you are consuming junk. And you are wasting your time, guys. You're wasting your time. But get this, get this. Time is all you have in life. So if you are wasting your time, you're wasting your life. You only got one life to live, let's make it count. I need you to spend your time studying success, listening to seminars, motivational speeches, reading the books that will force you to think critically about yourself, your life, and the world around you. If you do this, you are engineering your mind for success, all right? Now, with your environment, you guys are going to college or you're going to work. And you're gonna have the opportunity to select a new group of peers. And I want you guys to be so, so, so selective about who you let into your circle and who you spend your life with. That is important. That is important. Yes. I need you to find mentors who will guide you. I need you to find friends who are going to elevate you. I need you to know that if you are the smartest one in your group, run. You need a new group. You need a new group. And guess what? If you can't find a new group, pick up a book and get to know some people from the past, okay? Get to know yourself, okay? Because it's better to pass the time alone and have a few friends that you can count on than to waste my time just because someone was convenient, okay? Now, the last thing, your thoughts. Your thoughts are so important. Like I told you, you create the narrative for your life. So if you spend your time thinking about what you don't want, your thoughts are like magnets. You're gonna find yourself attracting more of what you don't want, right? If you're ever unhappy in life, it's probably because you're focusing on the obstacle and not what's on the other side. So if I spend every day thinking about how stressed I am, how hard this class is, how much I don't like my teacher, what do you think you will attract into your life? More of what you don't want. So I need you guys to see everything in life as an opportunity, no matter what. I need you to change every event into your life, in your life as a positive. And the easiest way to do that is simple. It's just gratitude. Remember what you're grateful for. Because when you think about what you're grateful for, you will always find more to be grateful for, right? And if you do this, the way that you see yourselves and the world around you will change. I want you to imagine being on a high that nothing can blow. It's possible, it's possible. And so that's it, guys. Those are my five major keys. This is what I've learned throughout my journey and what I wish I knew sooner. Own your power, take chances, make mistakes. Don't do it for the gram. Do it for the love. And I need you to give and you shall receive. And I need you to surround yourself with success. And if you do this, if you do this, guys, I can't make any promises, right? But let me give you a bonus tip, right? None of these major keys will work unless you work, right? None of these keys will open doors for you unless you work. You have to commit yourself to your better future. You have to commit yourself to being the hardest working person you know, because I guarantee it, if you're not hungry, there is somebody in China or in India who is dying to take your spot, okay? Globalization is real, okay? It is real. 
and I need you guys to understand that you are no longer competing with the people sitting next to you. You are competing on a global stage, all right? And I, and I believe that you guys can do it, right? And if you do this, I can't guarantee that you're gonna become a billionaire, but I guarantee that you will look yourself in the mirror and you will like the person you are becoming more than the person you were yesterday. Thank you so much, God bless you.